Turbo toys are a great addition to any sports boat. They're enormous fun whether you've just got beginners or guests staying with you, or more advanced riders looking for a bit of a bigger thrill. But sometimes it can be hard to know what is the right model for you. There is only one way to find out, and that is to test them. Which is why, behind me here, we've got nine of the most popular models from the three world's biggest manufacturers. We've got Job, we've got O'Brien, and we've got Airhead. Now, I have recruited five youngsters to go out and test these to the absolute limit, to find out exactly how stable they are, how comfortable they are, whether they're good for beginners or more advanced riders as well as things like how easy it is to get on and off them, and indeed how easy it is to write them if you do manage to flip the whole lot. So we're going to go out, we've got some good lumpy conditions out there, we've got my boat that I'm going to tow behind, and we are going to put them to the ultimate test. So here we have the Sport Stuff Paparazzi. This is a three-person craft for about 525 pounds. You've got three people lying down here you can have um, on these neoprene patches that grip quite nicely to a wetsuit. Loads and loads of handle options, which is good because it does rock quite a lot when you're on the water. Um, you can also have someone standing or kneeling up behind with, using these four handles. We found standing to be very unstable. Uh, we fell off a lot. But if you were kneeling down, you could sort of control your weight a bit better and um, lean, into the, lean into the turns more, if you will. Uh, we would say, though, that this is quite a large craft and quite difficult to store in a smaller boat, um, but a lot of fun. Uh, so this is the turbo we had the most fun on. Thrill-wise, it is brilliant. You feel like you're on a washing machine, absolutely tumbled everywhere because it rolls a lot. And as mentioned, these handles have been very useful. Um, in terms of activity, I'd say probably not for the children, more for the advanced riders, just because there's a lot of movement. And particularly when it falls over, when it rolls, it quite often flips and it's very hard to ride again. Um, you need a bit of strength. And in general, the ride is for the more advanced. Um, but I'd say it was incredibly good fun. And there's a lot of jumping about. And overall, it was our favorite one. Uh, the Airhead Slice is £140, uh, it's made for one to two people. Um, I've just been on it and I'd say it's very good fun for the kids. It's a little bit too small for adults, but um, it's a really good mixture of thrill and comfort and affordability is its big bonus. So here we have the Airhead Big Mabel. Uh, this is £350 and is a two-seater craft, so a little bit of a step up from the Slice. Um, it can be towed from two directions, so at the moment it's towed this way. You'd have two people sitting on the pads here with the handles. It can also be towed that way, and so you'd be kneeling here in a chariot style, and then you'd have the handles here and here. In this format, you get some very good air. You're flying along, um, but it can be a little bit unstable, so we found we flipped off a few times, but that's all part of the fun. Uh, in this configuration, again, you get a lot of air, but you're a little bit more stable as you're sitting down. Um, we found it perhaps a little bit short for the adult, um, but they do sell a Super Mabel, which we have tried, and that is a little bit more suitable for adults. This is still fine for adults, but I'd say can be a little bit cramped sometimes. This is the Job Scout 3, designed for three riders, and it's £300. We found it to be a very good all-rounder due to various features. So these wings are perfect when you're leaning in and out of the wake. They stabilise your body, meaning you don't crash into each other. The handle is a very nice position, you feel nice and secure, and the length is perfect where your feet are just off the end, but you don't feel like you're about to fall in or that you're cramped for style. Um, the design here, it flies in and out of the wake very nicely. So for the thrill seekers, it will absolutely fly out of the wake and it will rise a little bit with the wave and get some very good airtime. However, if you just want a more relaxed ride, as the features mentioned above, the kids can have a very nice in and out of the wake, 
but good amount of excitement without feeling like you're about to throw yourself off. This is the Joe Byron R2, available for £370. As you can see, it's quite similar to a sofa design, but it's got a few great added features. In comparison to the Big Mabel, it's got a lot more legroom, which is great when you're going along, because it stops your legs splaying all over the place and potentially hitting other riders or yourself. These wings are also great for when you're flying outside the wake, and particularly for big jumps, because when you land, you can counterbalance against them and also provide stability as you go along. As you can see around here, it's also got a second toe point, which means you can ride it chariot style on your knees. Definitely a bit more unstable and a shorter ride, but great for some extra thrill. Also, due to the fact it's so comfortable, we'd actually recommend it for even just sitting on an anchor, having a drink, enjoying the sunset. So there's lots of options for this turbo. Overall, we'd say it's great for all members of the family, all skill sets, whether you want to go nice and stable or you want to get a real nice kick outside the wake and it gets some properly good air. We think it's the best all-rounder out of all the turbos we've tried. This is the Joe Kickflip, available for £270. As you can see, it's designed to sit on like this, or if I flip it round for you, you'll see that you can also kneel on it like this. This inflatable extension is here to provide support as you're going along, and an extra toe point for when you're going in this direction. We preferred sitting this way, because kneeling was particularly unstable and you're very likely to be thrown out almost immediately. Getting thrown out is all part of the fun, but we prefer a long-term ride where you can land your air, go outside the wake, and have the thrill for a longer time period. Overall, this is a great option for big wipeouts, but if you're looking for something a bit more suitable for beginners, or where you can enjoy your ride for a bit longer, land those big jumps, and fly outside the wake, we'd recommend looking at something else. This is the Joe Evolve 2, available for £270. As you can see, it's designed to lie front on with these unique leg extensions at the back. Now, we found the leg extensions are very useful for stopping your legs slapping against the water. However, they do provide quite a lot of drag, which makes it harder to flip outside of the wake. And it's also surprisingly hard to keep your legs on these extensions. The wings are great counterbalances for when you're leaning in and outside the wake, trying to stay on this, and particularly when you get airtime and land, you can lean against it and not fall off. Um, overall, we think it's a rather fun design, but we're not convinced it offers a better alternative than a conventional disc, particularly in its price range, and options such as the Jove Scout might be better. This is the O'Brien One Person Screamer, available for around £150. It also comes in two and three person sizes. Now this particular model has two neoprene pads that are particularly comfortable flying on with a good placement of handles for steering in and out of the wake. Now, it's quite a small turbo which has its pros and cons. On the plus side, very easy to store on the boat. And when you go outside the wake, you get a lot of air time and a lot of speed. Cons, very easy to fall off and surprisingly hard to get back on. These handles are a bit too far forward and there's not much support at the back. Overall, I'd say it's a great value for money option that provides a lot of thrills. However, maybe not suitable for kids just because it is quite extreme and it's very hard to get on, particularly if you're small. This is the O'Brien four-person sombrero available for around £560. Now, this is obviously a relatively expensive turbo, but it does come with some great features. So, you can sit on it with your bum in and your legs out like this. You can sit with your legs in and your bomb out holding these handles, and you can even stand up like this. It's a great option for the family. For the kids, it's relatively easy to get on here with these um, straps, and it's surprisingly stable at low speeds. For the more advanced riders, due to the weight, it will also slingshot outside the wake, and it may lack the air of some of the flatter turbos, but there's a lot of thrill to it, spinning around, and it's great fun. Overall, it is obviously a relatively expensive option, and it's quite hard to store on a boat, but you can get four people on, it's unique, and it's very family friendly. <laughs>